Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Consultant. And what I'd like to do today is to provide you all with three proven growth strategies that I have found to be successful and useful in e-commerce businesses. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Strategy number one is integrating artificial intelligence into your e-commerce business. Th this is a relatively new one and it's just been growing in popularity for the last year. Incorporating artificial intelligence into your e-commerce business, you can use it for company logos. Heck, I use it to make this logo right here. You can help it project sales, just feed it information of what your sales were for the last 12 months. It can go ahead and help you project what your sales are going to be um, based on your, your trends for the next 12 months. It can help you with your writing. A lot of business owners hate writing, despise writing. Heck, that's what I mostly do for my um, clients in my consulting business is write. Um, but it can write invoices for you. It can respond to customer emails. You, you plug in the customer email and it can generate a response. Then you can edit that response. It can give you your product descriptions. It can update your product descriptions. So it can do a whole lot of writing, save you a lot of time for writing. And it can also help you with your website. So you can create web content. It can create structures for your website. So there's a lot of um, different benefits you can use when you integrate artificial intelligence into your e-commerce. Strategy number two to grow your e-commerce business is to know your numbers. You've got to know your numbers. You have to know what your sales need to be in order to cover your costs for the day, the week, your next month. You want to have a customizable financial model in order to go ahead and predict what your inventory level needs to be. Well, you got to be able to know what your sales, what you think your sales are going to be. So having a financial model that is customizable, that's going to be able to predict how many customers you're going to have for the next month or the next year. And then from there, what your average sales are going to be, what your average variable costs are, all that information is, it's, it's, Custom, it's, it's to your business and you need a model that is going to fit your business. So make sure you have that financial model that's going to tell you, you know, what your revenues are based on your specific inputs. Also, know your best case and worst case scenarios. You know, when you, when you have an e-commerce business, you, you want to know how much money you absolutely need to make in order to get by. And you also want to know what your best case scenario is of what you think the, the maximum number is. Um, sales are going to be, and that can motivate you to, to get you through some of the tough times. So know your both best case and worst case numbers. And then finally, also know your daily sales needs. What do you, th what do you, what is your objective for daily sales? Because you, you should have an idea of where you want to be for net profits for the year. But in order to make your net profits for a year, you want to be able to know what your daily sales needs are are in order to achieve your objective. And again, you need a financial model that is customized to your business to be able to show you what your average sales need to be or how many customers you need on a daily basis in order to re achieve your net sales. And then when you have that information, you can go ahead and create um, you know, marketing campaigns in order to generate the number of leads you need in order to achieve those sales. But the, the foundation, the starting point is, is to have that financial model that's customizable for your business in order to provide you with all that information. And strategy number three is to have a business plan and a strategic plan. Your business plan, a lot, a lot of 90% of business owners don't have a strategic plan and they don't have a business plan. And if you're looking for funding, then the lender or the investor, they're going to want to see a business plan. What the business plan does, it describes your business, what you do, how you do it, where you do it, why you do it, and when you do it. So it's, it's like your vehicle um, that you, you're going to drive in order to go wherever you want to go. And everybody wants to see that business plan, um, but most of the people don't have it. And, you know, you, like I said, you need it for funding, you need it for growth, you need it, um, you know, to acquire new business in some, um, some instances. Um, but so you've got to have a business plan in, in order just to get into the game for the funding, to, to be able to lease a location if you've already got e-commerce and you're going brick and mortar. However, 
the secret sauce to success, in my opinion, is going to be your strategic plan. And your strategic plan is your roadmap to success. So your business plan is like your vehicle. It describes what you do and how you do it. But your strategic plan, what that does, is it identifies where you want to be in five years. And then you are able to, and the, the strategic plan should include specific objectives of what you need to achieve at f the five-year point, at the three-year point, at the one-year point, at the 30-day point. And they need to be aligned. But those objectives need to... Um, be achieved in order to get to where you want to go. So without your strategic plan, well, you don't really know where you're going. You're just working day to day to survive. But you incorporate and you have a, a, a strategic plan. It's going to help you achieve your objectives. It's going to help you stay focused to where you want to go. It's going to help you grow your business. It's going to help. It's going to complement your business plan. I mean, you need your business plan. Everybody asks for your business plan. That's like having your vehicle, but you can just drive around in circles and, and it's not going to get you anywhere. Um, so it's going to complement your business plan. It's going to make it more powerful. It's going to also help for financial planning. You know, with a strategic plan, well, you know, if you have objectives where you want to open a new location in one year, well, you're going to have to start looking for financing in about six months in order to achieve that growth um, objective. So it also helps with your financial planning. And it's also motivating. Um, when, when you have an objective of where you want to be in five years and you have that vision in your head, and you know how to get there, well, now it's going to not only empower you, but it's going to motivate you to say, wow, I've got a place where I need to be. I, I know where I'm going. I've got my business um, plan ready. I, I've got my vehicle for success. And now I've got my des destination. And all you have to do is execute. And a lot of business owners, they don't even get to that point where it's just ready to execute. Uh, they're just in business and surviving day to day. So make sure you have that business plan. Make sure you have your strategic plan. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap it up and sum it up. Hopefully these tips and tricks were helpful. Some of the services that I do offer as a business consultant is custom business plan writing, a business plan templates. I do have numerous business plan templates that are available for purchase that are industry specific. I do specialize in financial projections. So if y'all need some financial projections, whether it be for your business plan or just a financial model that you can use to change the numbers around, it's definitely something within my capabilities. I also provide strategic planning and mentoring. So if, if you have a business plan, but you, you want that pathway to success, um, that's your strategic plan. And it, again, it is definitely something that I can provide and help and not, not only assist with, but also provide um, benchmarks and some guidance along the way to your success. And then finally, I do help small business owners you, integrate artificial intelligence into their business. So here are some links for those various services. As always, uh, you know, have a great day, make a little bit of money. And if you need some business consulting assistance, here's my contact information. Thank you.